guys, so I'm going to start off with my Nivea aftershave balm as my primer. Um, I'm just going to put that all over my face and keep rubbing it until it gets nice and tacky. Then I'm going to put my Opal Liquid Highlighter by Becca and I'm just going to put that on my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, and my chin just to give a little highlight so when I put my foundation on, it kind of gives that a nice luminosity. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm gonna be using it on an oval six brush by artiste brushes um i've been kind of going back and forth with this foundation because sometimes it looks a little powdery on me since i'm drier and sometimes it just looks really nice and smooth i found that when i use this brush it really makes it look nice and smooth so i really like it I'm going in with my wet beauty blender just to give myself a little more hydration and take away some excess foundation. Now I'm going in with my Urban Decay Naked Concealer and I'm just going to put this under my eyes in an upside down triangle shape and then I'm going to fill in the gaps with my Benefit Shy Beam um, Matte Highlighter. Um, it's a peachy tone, pink peachy tone. So I like to use it to cancel out the blue under my eyes and kind of give it a nice highlight. Once I'm done blending out my concealer, I like to prime my eyes for eyeshadow with the same concealer. I find that it gives it a nice base and it cancels out any uh, weird pigmentations I have on my eyes. setting my concealer and my eyelids with some loose setting powder. This one's by Laura Mercier, but you can use any loose powder that you have. Um, I'm just putting this one particularly on my eyelids uh, because I want my eyeshadows to be able to slide onto something and not stick as soon as I put it on onto the concealer so it's not tacky. Now I'm going to do my brows off camera. I'm using my Brow Powder by Anastasia in Dark Brown, and now I'm going to highlight with my ColourPop Highlighter in Smoke and Whistles. I love this highlighter. I love all of their highlighters, actually. I think they're amazing. They're very, very, um, very illuminating and very, very pigmented. So if you guys are thinking about getting any highlighters from ColourPop, I definitely, definitely recommend. Now I'm going to be going in with this Ofra highlighter in You, Go Girl, you Glow Girl. Um, it's a collaboration with the Dupe That Girls on Instagram. It's a pinky highlighter so it'll kind of tie in with all the pinkiness we're putting on our faces. Then I'm going in with Luminoso Blush by Milani. This is a really pretty blush. It's kind of got a bit of sparkle in it since it's baked and I really really like it. Yeah. 
Now to contour these chubby cheeks, I'm going in with the NYX Blush in Taupe, and I'm using this contour brush I got from Tarte. Um, I honestly really, really like it. I don't know if it was limited edition or not, but it's honestly the easiest brush to contour with. I couldn't contour at all before that I got this brush. So if you guys are thinking about getting any kind of uh, contour brushes or you're struggling with contouring, um, I definitely recommend a brush similar to this one or this one. Now I'm going in with my Morphe 350 palette and I'm just grabbing this light brown um, pinky undertone shadow and I'm just using it as a transition color. Now I'm going in with a slightly darker brown with still some pinky red undertones and I'm just going in into the crease and outer corner just to deepen up a little bit more. Now I'm going in with this reddish color. It's, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful color. It ties into the whole look completely. And I'm just using it to deepen out my outer corner and then I'm blending it into my crease. Now I'm just going to put my transition colors on the bottom lash line and I'm going to connect the bottom lash line, the outer third, to the outer third on the top. So the bottom outer third and the top outer third just to give a more rounded look. Next I'm going in with this shimmery pinky whitish frosty color and I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid. I believe, did I? I don't remember if I put Fix Plus or not. Um, you can if you want to but I'm pretty sure that these uh, shadows are pigmented enough where you don't need to if you don't have any or you could use eye drops, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going in with this matte white eyeshadow just to highlight the inner corners and the brow bone. Now I'm going to be applying mascara to my lashes. I already curled my eyelashes, but uh, you can also put false lashes if you want to. I just didn't this day. I usually don't really wear false lashes. And yeah, I love this mascara. It's very volumizing and it doesn't really clump too much and it's very easy to take off at the end of the day. Now I'm going in with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and I'm applying this to my bottom lashes. So now I'm applying Posey K by Kylie Cosmetics. Um, I have mixed opinions about these liquid lipsticks, um, but if you guys want a video review on these liquid lipsticks, let me know and I definitely will. I have four colors out of the six. I don't have Dolce K and I don't have Mary Jo K, so I can do a review on the four colors I have. Just let me know and I'll be very happy to do it for you. Wow. 
So here I was dancing because I thought I was done, but I really wasn't. I'm now spraying Fix Plus by Max just to melt all the powders um, onto my face and mix them into my foundation. And yeah, that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them below. And I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. And thank you so much.